retesting uh, because one of the YouTubers asked me or said a motors without load will run for days. Uh, I don't think so. Anyway, this is the power supply. It's not connected, but anyway, if it was on and had the red there and the needle would be over there. And if we look behind it, nope, no connections on there. This is the battery. I'm going to try to get this thing, hold this. So when it starts, we see exactly what the voltage is. And we got the time here. Okay, ain't going to run long, I'll tell you that. Or is it? Or I'm lost here. Okay. So, there's the, the uh, closed loop is missing. And here is our start voltage. Pick it up here. It's dropping. It's already dropped what? How many tenths of a volt already? Not a tenth of a volt is going down. We'll just let this thing run for five minutes and see how the battery goes there. So remember, we were running uh, at 20, uh, 12 point, uh, point, uh, 0.23 and after an hour's operation it dropped two tenths of a volt. We've already dropped, or two hundredths of a volt. We've already dropped now uh, six hundredths of a volt in one minute. And we'll just keep it going here. And that's what's hold. Yes, it's running. Not a tenth of, uh, not, not a hundredth of a volt drop. Not a, tenth, a hundredth of a volt drop. I'll take this to uh, 432. Just keep watching the 432. Not a high foot will drop. Sorry for this boring thing, but this is the only way to, to uh, prove the fact that uh, the closed loop does extend the battery run. Not a high foot will drop. We're dropping almost 100 foot volt per minute down and drop another high foot volt. I'm very anxious to also redo this, uh, another high foot volt drop. Redo this with the new uh, super coil setup. Uh, I actually have the charging. Uh, the typical Bedini type charge, and that would be charging external batteries in your home and the other mode which is uh, the Starship mode will then uh, recharge or attempt to keep the keep the, the supply of battery charge however remember I was saying that don't look for a perpetual motion out of this but it's obvious here to drop now over one tenth of a volt and we got uh, two and a minute two and a half minutes to, to go and uh, maybe I'll just let it run here for a little bit longer and I'll edit the tape out so you guys don't have to sit with it all the time again here's the drop another hundredth of a volt of course when you start getting down to where you're in the almost 10 volts the drop off is really quick so I'll take this up to uh, 435 maybe we'll just do it to 445 just to give an idea that would be about what 20 minutes run so there's no doubt in your minds remember we ran it four hours and that was my first version of the okay another hundredth of a volt drop about one hundredth per per minute this way of going here you see the current on the left whoops better center but thing will be better all right i'm sitting here not looking at the mo monitor on the camera by the way this is a, an extremely nice camera I, i'm not a fan of sony products whatsoever i've been in the broadcast business for a long time and it's one of the most overrated brands out there but this is a nice hd camera Quarter. and uh, the low light is exceptionally good uh, they don't make this anymore this is what actually reports the tape and uh, so we're gonna just go up to 435 I think well I'll tell you what we'll, we'll hold on here I'll, I'll go far as it drops down to uh, below 12 volts I think that's that's a, that's a way to do it so you know we lost what two hundredths of a volt in an hour run with the the, the uh, starship uh, uh, closed loop mode extending We've done a lot of work today on, on the, uh, the other energy recovery system and uh, that cannot be I don't think that into well, yes it can I just thought it's way of doing it yes it can I'm sure that can be fed back in there I wasn't thinking clearly okay, I don't think I got the cables to reach it but we, we can try it here uh, by the way the, 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 this battery was recharged re, uh, uh, using a 2 amp per Ramp hour standard battery charger. Drop one more hundredth of a volt. My thoughts are on this system here that we're going to actually have a solar panel running it. Uh, so on cloudy days, uh, if need be, you can use the uh, the run battery. So you're going to have two ways. You're going to have the solar panel charging and the uh, uh, the Starship charging the battery. Let's see here if I can reach around here and if I can connect this type of charger in. I don't know. I'll give it a try here. Okay, we're down 12.05. So let me see if I can just. We've already proven the fact that uh, that this will. Let me see if I can get this thing to hook up this battery. Either that will have a big explosion. One of the two here. I got the wires wrapped all around me. And I don't have this thing on a tripod. Normally I would do a better job. All right, I'm gonna try to swing this thing over and see here what happens. Go this way and let me see what happens. Okay. 
Well, I've done this. This thing has dropped down to what? 203. If anything here, it should go up now a little bit. I don't know. Just keep an eye on it. Now I have the closed loop, the Bedini closed loop in, and it looks like it's going, the, the voltage is going to go up a little bit. So we'll, we'll hold here and see if it does go up. Normally, you, oh, well, come on, come on, jump up there, 12 there. Come on. I think it's going to make it up there. Let me say that many a time, you know, when you're experimenting, you, you hit into a, a dead end. It gets really depressing when you have failure after failure. And you get up the next morning, it's hard to get into the lab. Just not, it's just not, you know, it's just mentally depressing. But you have to hang in there, and that's why I videotape all my stuff, because when I have a success, I need to go back and, oh, look there, we got an 03 now. We are actually, let's see if we climb anymore here. I'm just going to keep this thing going. This is what everybody wants, the professional motion. Now, somebody asked me, can we keep running on capacitors? I don't know. Maybe you had a big enough super cap you could do it. I don't know. Okay, so let's see if we go to 0.04. Yeah. This is just a very small circuit that I have running right now. So that's where we're at here. I'm really uh, so uh, satisfied with the uh, Starship uh, coil design. The ideal thing would be to, com to stay with it, try to keep the the, the, uh, the charge up there around 12.2 something, try to keep even with the draw. But remember, this is just one coil running for charging. This is just one coil running to charge, and I put a three coil parallel on it right now to drive it, so we had some current uh, looking at 4.38 amps. So obviously I can make collectors for each and these Starship coils only have one power winding. They do not have two power winding. And only one of them is connected for collection right now. So we did see it go up a little bit. It's back down to 12.02. But you saw how fast it dropped before. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do this thing because it's important to have uh, this information out there so people know that there's nothing, no tricks being done. I don't use plexiglass. I can't afford it. I actually did buy this plywood. Uh, the plywood needs to be thicker uh, because there's a little bit of bend in this thing. But this there's very little drawbacks to this. And uh, I guess I'll take it up. Again, I'll take it up and see here how far we go until, if it drops down below 12. It's hanging right here at 12.02. Uh, the new controller system is gonna be much like a car's timing computer. This works extremely well. As it increases in uh, RPM, uh, it draws less current. Yeah, see, we're starting to go down again, but we're going down at a real slow, slow uh, thing. Now this particular, I measured the voltage on uh, this particular collection thing, and I believe it was 51 volt, not the 154 on the uh, the other circuit. You need multiple spikes. You really do need. I mean, regardless of what other people say, you do need some some current. Uh, voltage spikes are not going to do it all its own for you. Again, I'll stay with it here until it, it drops down below 12 volts. So remember, we had the closed loop charging, the Bedini style, but it's been adapted so it can charge the uh, source battery. Uh, it's not quite as good as the, uh, the Starship one, but uh, there's many reasons for that. Not trying to say there's anything wrong with the Bedini circuit. There's certainly not. Uh, but we're going using, a, I don't know, much almost by a, a two-thirds less spike than we worked before. So so we're going to come up here to the 445 and that's probably where it's going to drop down to 11 something. That's where we'll stop this particular tape. Oh, and also it's telling me that I got four minutes left on the tape anyway. So, but yes, I'm sure there are motors that you can run a long time with a battery, but this is a very heavy wheel inside here. This, this wheel is very heavy. It has uh, nine neodymium magnets on it. Okay, we've dropped to 1199, uh, about 443. So we've dropped a volt and a fifth, or a volt and a half probably, Majority of that was done under no closed loop. It'd be if I took the closed loop off now. Okay, one side of that's disconnected. <coughs> It's going to increase the, the thing. But what I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to another mode. Okay, I'm back on power supply driven, and uh, we brought the voltage all that quick up to 12.2 with uh, the basically the standard. Well, it's it's the standard Bedini circuit but it's been modified so it can be used in a closed loop. So uh, just let it run here and charge the old battery up here. And with the power supply, see it's running at basically how we started out on battery. Okay, so that's it.